I'm here with Jamie from Earthside. They're touring right now across North America, playing in Toronto. How's things going? It's been going really good so far. Going really well so far. I'm going to correct my own grammar. Uh, but yeah, it's been... Uh, we're about five, six days into the tour, and I think as far as just consistency of, you know, experience across shows, it's the most people we play to just night in, night out. Um, so it's been really cool. I think there's been a solid audiences for both Austin Cal Caligula's horse, just basically doors to end, just places have been packed, and people have been really enthusiastic. A lot of really classic venues and really, you know, great sounding rooms, like we played... Um, Gramercy Theater in New York City, which oh, wow. for me is like a lifelong dream with us being from Connecticut. Um, Brighton Music Hall in Boston is also right near us, in, you know, for us in Connecticut. And, you know, this room we're in tonight, Axis Club, I've, I don't know if we played in front of an LED screen this night. So, it's, you know, it's... <laughs> You're living it up. You're living it up. In, in, the, in the nerdy way, the tech way. You know, it's not, not living it up in the rock star, like, classic ways, but it's like, oh, they, well, they have an LED screen. That's, you know, so... That's our version of rock star life, you know. <laughs> you, so. you, you guys have a new record. Uh, actually, you guys and Caligula's Horse both touring on a new album. Yeah, ours is now the old one. Yours is technically now the old one because theirs is just a, not even a month old. Yeah. But still new, still a new record. Uh, how, how do you approach the set list for this tour considering that you have that new album that you have to support? Yeah, so, I mean, one of the factors, Pedro, is our songs are long. So, you know... You have a 45-minute set. We're lucky that we're even getting five songs in. Um, so, I mean, I think it's a good opportunity to kind of road test some of the new songs from the new record. Maybe we're, we just have the typical band curse of thinking our latest is our greatest, you know. But um, So, yeah, we're mostly playing stuff from the new record, but, you know, something from A Dream and Static as well. I think something that's unique to this tour, set list-wise, is this is the first one where pretty much... Every single song we're playing is one that we wrote together in rehearsal because as a band, we kind of have two types of songs, songs that, um, you know, one of us individually kind of played around with in like Logic or Pro Tools and sort of wrote individually and built the orchestra arrangement and all that. And then there's songs where we kind of, that come from us organically in rehearsal, building mm -hmm. off each other's ideas. And so... Those songs tend to translate better live, and so this set list is just 100% songs like that. Um, and so I think that lends itself better to have the songs kind of having that natural live chemistry and natural live energy where it feels more like this is what happens when the four guys on our side get, on, get in a room together mm -hmm. and play. Um, you know, still we're doing some songs with the guest vocals, some songs with, or one song with an orchestral aspect to it, but as far as the nuts and bolts of the rock band elements of it these all five songs are playing have that genesis of coming out of like a jam session in rehearsal and building it that way when you're on a tour with a band like caligula's horse where there's there's some crossover similarities in terms of what their fan base is and what your fan base is does that go into consideration at all when you're putting a set list together for a tour like this i, I think i mean i think you know we when we chose the set list we were very aware that it was for a tour with Caligula's Horse, so I think, you know, they don't have as much of the sort of cinematic orchestral stuff, so we maybe didn't go as that way as we would if we were, you know, touring with, like, a symphonic band of some kind, but I think it minimal role. I mean, yeah, we were playing with a post-rock band. Maybe we wouldn't have as many songs with the guest vocalists. This is a band that they have a singer, so that our set skews slightly more to songs with vocals than without, so... You know, I think ultimately it's you're putting yourself out there to the audience, figuring out what they want to hear, what we want to play, what, how to the extent that it's new people discovering us, how we want them to think of us, not catering or pandering too much. But, you know, I think when we were between two songs for, all right, we got four songs chosen, what's the fifth going to be? And we were down to two, knowing that it was Caligula's Horse probably played a role in how we chose between those last two songs. Uh, going on a tour run like this, do, do you set any any goals uh, of what you would like this tour to to deliver for you guys, what you would like to achieve during this tour run? I mean, for this tour particularly, one thing that's, you know, a huge thing for this tour is I think we really re revamped the visual aspect of our tour as far as the, you'll see in a moment, the sort of more unified visualizers across um, the set and kind of adding to that sort of cohesion and cinematic experience. So just sort of getting, getting to test how that translates. And, you know, as a band that doesn't have a lead singer um, and we have songs with guest vocalists, 
you know, how the video capture of the vocalist translates as far as the audience feeling immersed in the experience rather than feeling like they're missing something. And I feel like this tour has been the best we've accomplished that so far. So I think that's been a real goal. And I think the other thing is to the extent that, you know, people are in the audience or if, for industry people, I think proving that our more unconventional model works so that we can kind of build towards coming back to some of these places and, and, and doing a headline tour, I think would be great. And then, you know, I mean, on a just basic human level, you know, building relationships, meeting the fans, meeting people who either have loved our music since the first record or people who discovered us that night and having them feel appreciated. I think that's, a, you know, for me, as I'm generally the one who talks to the audience, I, I want people who came to feel that we really valued the fact that they were there, that they came out, that they spent their money to be here, that, that they gave an extra sense of meaning and purpose to what we do, what Caligula's Horse does, that, you know, so I want people to leave feeling not just that they had a great time at the show, but knowing that it means something to us to be able to do this and means a lot to us that, that they're the people we're getting to do it for, so. You, you touched on something that I think it's really important. The, the band is really unique in terms of how you guys approach music, how you guys create music, and then how you guys deliver music. So the fact that you guys thought about that and included that in the live performance, I think that's tremendous. Because it's, it's something that I felt listening to the record. So now I'm looking forward to having that same experience watching you guys play. You talk about the, the cohesion and sort of the yeah, cinematic yeah, yeah, aspect. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it was, it was actually feedback we got from our, our manager, Lulu, when she saw us play Euroblast and Prague Power Europe, the last few performances we had before this tour were those two European festivals. And she thought, you know, musically we're, we had things in a, in a good place. We were starting to test songs for the new record, even though the new record wasn't out Not yet. yet no. uh, but we were playing some of the singles that had been released. And yeah, she, I think that was the main takeaway she had is if there's some way to kind of make this feel more like a beginning to end, end cohesive, immersive experience. And so she had some ideas how to execute that. We had some ideas and kind of talked about it. And I'd say for the, over the last several months, the bulk of how we invested our time from a live show prep standpoint was building that into our, our set. And we worked with this uh, these um, artists named Rivada who do sort of animated Music videos. videos. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Like They're from, uh, from Finland. Well done, you got it. Yeah. And so they, um, they had done our visualizer for the song We Who Lament when that single came out. And then they did a new visualizer now with Ketra, the singer actually in it. We got some footage of her in the last few weeks, finally. And we, um, yeah, sort of that, that aesthetic, but with the guest vocalist integrated when on the songs that have that. And also having something that's a, a visual that's compelling for the instrumentals that kind of... Have something to feed off of. Yeah, just like a soundtrack for a movie, a soundtrack supports the visual. In this case, it's like the visual track supports the audio. So they're kind of a role reversal. Now the visual is guiding the audio. S sounds amazing. I'm looking forward to it. Jamie, thank you very much for your time. I wish you guys all the best on this tour run, and I hope to see you guys again soon. Thank you so much, Pedro. We always appreciate your support, and I'm happy I got to be the one to talk to you these, this time. Me too, time. me too. So yeah. we need to do this more often. <laughs> Absolutely. Like, just push the other guys to the side, and I'll just ask yeah. for you directly. If, if they want to be, be able to interview with you, they got to commit. <laughs> They got to commit to the hundred percent, hundred percent. I think, you know, we, we have that bond already. Like we have that bond even before we sat down to talk. So, same Jamie, ba same barber, man. Same in the barber, mirror. man. You're the best. I love you. Thank you very much for your time, man. I really appreciate, too, it. appreciate it. And uh, all the best in this tour. Thank you so much. Cheers. <laughs>